All right, and now the last one of our um, geometric problems that we're going to be looking at here is going to be talking about vertical angles. Well, vertical angles have the exact same measure. And let's look at an example of what a vertical angle looks like. We have this one right here, where our angles are, we have two lines um, that, you know, intersect each other, and the angles that are formed directly across from each other, those have to have the same measure. So the, this angle on the left and the one on the right are called vertical angles, so they have to be the same. Well, you know, also these ones here at the top and the bottom, those are directly across from each other, vertic uh, you know, uh, actually this would, um, they're vertically across from each other, depending on how you're looking at um, each one of these angles. But these are considered vertical angles, they must also have the same measure. So that's what we're talking about. Now, how can we use that to set up an equation and solve it? Well, if, if we know that our first angle is 5x minus 129, and we know that our vertical angle to that is 2x minus 21, well, our definition said that vertical angles are the exact same measure, or they are identical. Well, if these are the exact same, then that means that they are equal to each other. So there is our equation. We've actually set that up just by the definition. And now we can go through and we can solve that. So, um, on the left-hand side, there's no terms that we can combine. And on the right, there are no like terms either. So now we can start moving terms across the equal sign. We have x's on the right and x's on the left. So I'm going to move this 2x by doing the opposite operation. So 5x minus 2x would be 3x minus 129 equals negative 21. And again, now we have numbers that we can put together. So I'm going to have to move the negative 129 across the equal sign doing the opposite operation. So I'm going to add 129 to both sides. So now we have 3x equals negative 21 and positive 129 would be a positive 108. Now we still need x alone. So we're going to do the opposite of multiply by 3, which would be to divide by 3. So we have x equals 108 divided by 3 would be 36. Now, this is not our final answer, though, again. This angle is not 36. This angle is 5 times x, which we found to be 36, minus 129. So we literally have to plug in our answer, our variable, and find out what that measure is actually going to be. So 5 times 36, and then subtract 129, is 51. Now over here on the right, we would have to do the same thing. So 2 times 36 minus 21, when we um, put that in our calculator, we get 51 degrees, which makes sense because since they are vertical angles, they should be the exact same measure, and they are.